Transplantation procedures we all know present with a lot of difficulties. Now specifically if I talk about lung transplant, it itself poses many challenges. Now one of this is the standard donor lung preservation technique that usually involves cold flush and storage where the pulmonary vasculature is flushed with a cold preservative solution and the lungs are placed on melting ice. Now, out of every five lungs who have been donated in developed countries, only one lung is being transplanted with 21% of utilization rate. The number is even low for developing countries because of the cost constraint. What is the status in India? Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I am going to talk about the various factors that affect the lung transplantation technique in India. The standard donor lung preservation technique with cold flush and storage, it allows up to 6 hours between the retrieval of the lungs from the donor as well as the transplantation in the recipient. So ex vivo lung perfusion systems, it usually mimic the physiological ventilation and perfusion in the donor lungs with the potential for prolonged lung preservation and donor lung reconditioning. So the present study that I am mentioning here, it aimed to perform an ex vivo lung perfusion on discarded donor lungs using a locally developed ex vivo lung perfusion system. The study is published in the Indian Journal of Medical Research. So for the study, equipment that are routinely used for cardiac surgeries were all collected and a functional ex vivo lung perfusion system was assembled. This system was used on five pairs of lungs that were retrieved from brain dead organ donors. The lungs were ventilated and pulmonary circulation was continuously perfused with a solution containing oxygen and nutrients for up to four hours. The system was tested without red blood cells that were added to the solution and also with the addition of red blood cells to the solution. So the ex vivo lung perfusion system was successfully used in four of the five lung pairs. Mechanical and gas exchange functions of the lungs were preserved in these lung pairs. However, one lung pair worsened and developed pulmonary edema. The histopathological examination of all the five lung pairs was satisfactory to the end of the procedure. So the major challenges that were faced were the leakage of the solution from the system and obstruction to drainage of the RBCs containing solution from the lungs. So the results of the study did suggest that it is possible to maintain the lungs retrieved for transplantation in a physiological condition using a locally prepared ex vivo lung lung perfusion system and a solution without RBCs. Hence, this itself is a revelation and can effectively be put to use. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.